Well, there's a uh, local artist that is trying out some new mediums. Molly Real is live this morning learning about the different techniques. Hey, Molly. Hi, good morning. Uh, how would you like to look at yourself in a mirror like this every morning? Just a crown of flowers above you. Yeah, this is called Rose Mirror. I think pretty symbolic of the artist we're about to meet because I feel like she is looking at the world in rose-colored glasses, uh, specifically at herself because she keeps giving herself new uh, gifts in terms of, of careers, uh, which are life gifts. So this is Eileen Moffat and Eileen, I, I'm like, why don't you just tell, <laughs> she, you are a wordsmith. Uh, you have had many careers, one of them being a copywriter. Uh, so you're very good with words. You've also been a cheese maker. You are currently a practicing psychologist. You are a doctor. Uh, most recently, you have turned to art. And uh, like everything else, you are thriving at it. Uh, talk about uh, how, how you found art, how you turned to this, mostly ceramics right now. You know, there's something about creative expression and then there's something about being able to hold something and have it connect to the artist. So I make primarily functional things and I put myself into it so when you pick it up, you feel that humanness. I do love that. I love what you're saying. Um, and like you said, you, you do a lot of functional art. So something like these beautiful mugs that do just feel so good in your hand. Uh, and you were telling me you love the thought that someone's going to take this home. They're going to, you know, drink their coffee out of it every morning. And you're going to be a part of that. There is something really special about that. There is. And, you know, you could go somewhere and buy a mug and have absolutely no connection to it, not really care about it, throw it around. These, you're going to you're gonna cherish it. And I guess in my world, it makes the coffee taste that much better. <laughs> I would have to agree with that. By the way, all of the food items that you're seeing here, microwave and dishwasher safe, which I think is important for a lot of us. Uh, but it's something as simple too as like, look at these beautiful little wine stoppers. Uh, you, you cover a variety of kitchen items, don't you? <laughs> you know, I am a kitchen geek. I yeah. love to cook. And so a lot of stuff has come out of that. Um, I, I like to explore techniques and that's why all of my stuff looks so different. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of have a love of nature and flowers as you can see based on some of this yeah. and so that colors a lot of what I do. Um, and you also have some absolutely gorgeous jewelry as well. Eileen, you do it all. <laughs> you really do. Uh, you know, when we were talking beforehand, I said, you know, what, what is kind of the message that you want people to take away from this? And what you said was beautiful. Can you tell us that? Yeah, you know, there's an opportunity to keep learning your whole life. You don't have to stop at any point or any age or with anything. You can keep experimenting, keep finding more parts of yourself to bring forward. Yeah. That's really what it's about. I love it. Okay, I want to mention where we are. We are in downtown Auburn at For the Love of Art Gallery. You are one of the artists here, and this is where people can find your art and purchase it? Absolutely. We're right on Lincoln. Say hello to Lori and Phil. They're the owners. They're artists themselves. You can find their art here as well. Very nice people. I feel like you could just come in, spend hours here uh, appreciating the art, maybe purchasing it as well. What does it mean to you to be part of this, Eileen? You know, I am really honored. There is so much talent here. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really wonderful that everybody is so cooperative and helpful. And we all work here, so you can come and meet me this afternoon. I'm going to be here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, I do want to point out, I mentioned that she is a, a psychologist, and she specializes in creatives. So artists, actors, all of that. So... I, do, I think that's fascinating. Just wanted to just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your inspiration. You so and if you take something away, I mean, take home some art, but also the fact that it's never too late to try something. That's right. <laughs> we'll send it back to you guys. That's right. Never is too late. Thank you very much, Molly.